<clears throat> so I'm about to install this. Um, I think it's called like Mod Shop Metalworks or something like that on eBay. It was a hundred dollar roll pan. It came like this, but I took it to go get um, sanded and primered and painted by a homie that does like body work. I think he rattle canned it. it. Smells like it, feels like it, but it looks pretty good. Got a little scratch already. Not bad. Uh, so first thing, you take off the rear bumper. I've never had one, so I don't know exactly how you do that. Then, once you got the rear bumper off, I'm pretty sure you need a 10 to take off the bumper, but I, I honestly don't know. As soon as you get the bumper off, you need a 10 millimeter socket. And you take these bump, bump supports or bump stops off, which are right here usually. And you'll just have one. 10 millimeter socket in there it'll come loose and then up here on that hole it'll have like a rubber nipple kind of thing that goes in uh through this top hole and i just ripped it honestly i just ripped it off it came off this little piece and then once you take it off this other bolt uh, there's another one in here that's being covered by this. So you take this one off, you rip this off, and you take off the other bolt that's in there. It's also a 10. Then there's another one down here. You take that one off and then you kind of rip this glue off. Then there's another one up here. I haven't taken this one off because it's holding it up. And there's another one right here and then you come around and it's the other same three one two rip that off and then three and once you take those off this thing comes off and it should just fall off then most people have a license plate bracket kind of thing going on here well mine had it at least uh so I took it off this. I mean, you take it off by doing these other tens right there. So yeah, pretty much do all those tens and this comes off. Then the roll pan, which is supposed to bolt up with, with the OEM bolts, keep a few, cause you'll need to mount one right here to the roll pan and another one over there and you just kind of line it up and they go right in to these holes these oem holes and then it's gonna line up through the top so either people weld it on or you could just self tap it in and it came with two um those two right there self tapping screws when i bought the roll pan so i'm pretty sure that's how they want you to do it and it should hold up which is one on each corner the red truck over there has one uh the same brand everything and that one they didn't even use the bottom bolt so they just bolted it on up here with self tapping screws or... and it's been holding up for a while like three years maybe so yeah let me take these off and then i'm gonna come mount the roll pan and bolt the two bottom ones in like hand tight and then yeah, I'm just going to tap in those two holes up there. And one thing that did happen to me is these bolts are like old and crusted and it looks like they use some sort of permanent bond to keep them there, like chassis glue or something, whatever this shit is. So here, as you can see, that's the bolt. It busted on me Well, I was trying to take it out. It's somewhere around here. I threw it right now because I got mad. 
but it basically snapped in half with one of these and it just broke in half so be careful when you take those off maybe throw some degreaser or wd-40 or something to try and break them loose warm them up because this truck's not even that bad and they're pretty crusty that's like the third or fourth bolt that i break on this truck trying to do dumb shit so yeah be careful all right let me take these off honestly i feel like the same thing is gonna happen with these i already feel it getting oh, kind of weird so i mean if these break it don't matter because i'm not going to reuse those holes but i don't want to break them so i'm gonna get some oil so i got it on now i just need to use the self tap in screws that they gave me so the way i did this last part is we mounted it with the bottom bolts just hand tight and then i had my girlfriend hold it up from the middle like that straight and i lined up these body panels as much as i could which is kind of just pushing it in as far as the bolt hole will let you and you can see it kind of lines up there and it lines up there and it creates this perfect space right there which still lets your uh, tailgate open i think yeah so you can see it's open right now and the roll pan is up against it right here so i bolted it up i held it up like this and then i used the really thin drill bit to just kind of dent it in right in the center and then i did the same thing over there did the same thing right here.
hits this edge and it kind of bends up. So, just going to snug. But. Here's the top. It definitely scrapes it up here. It's not like bending it or getting stuck or anything. Alright, so I got it on pretty good. I ended up throwing back this license plate bracket because it actually clears it clears pretty good that area and I was originally going to mount my license plate something like that to the actual roll pan so it's stuck out on the bottom you know but since the bracket ended up fitting I drilled some holes on my license plate to match the bracket and I'm gonna mount it onto that so that I don't have to drill any holes until this nice new roll pan. But yeah man, threw that bracket back on and it's good. I don't even think you have to take it off but if you don't want that poking out the bottom I guess you do. So yeah, I'm just gonna throw this on there. Talk back. Like we always do about this time, bitch.